Yellowstone volcano officials evacuate the zone before huge eruption hits. Welcome to our channel, where we bring you the latest updates on the most pressing issues affecting our world. Today, we're talking about the urgent evacuation order issued by officials at Yellowstone National Park due to signs of an imminent supervolcano eruption. Just in the past few weeks, scientists have observed alarming signs of volcanic unrest at Yellowstone, a surge in seismic activity, rapid ground deformation, and erratic behavior of the park's famous geysers. These ominous indicators have prompted authorities to take drastic action, ordering the evacuation of the entire region surrounding the Yellowstone caldera. Yellowstone National Park, located primarily in the northwestern corner of Wyoming, is home to one of the world's largest and most powerful supervolcanoes. This supervolcano, which lies beneath the surface of the park, is part of the Yellowstone caldera, a massive volcanic system that has experienced three colossal eruptions over the past 2.1 million years. A supervolcano is defined as a volcano capable of producing an eruption with a volcanic explosivity index, VEI, of 8, meaning it can eject more than 1,000 cubic kilometers, 240 cubic miles, of volcanic material. To put that in perspective, a typical volcanic eruption might eject only one cubic kilometer of material. The Yellowstone supervolcano is one of only a few dozen volcanoes on Earth that meet this criteria for a super eruption. The last time Yellowstone experienced such a massive eruption was around 631,000 years ago, an event known as the Lava Creek eruption. This eruption ejected approximately 1,000 cubic kilometers, 240 cubic miles of volcanic ash and debris blanketing much of the western United States and significantly altering the global climate for years afterward. Prior to that, Yellowstone experienced two even larger super eruptions, the Huckleberry Ridge eruption around 2.1 million years ago, which was the largest, and the Mesa Falls eruption around 1.3 million years ago. Each of these events dramatically reshaped the landscape and had profound, long-lasting impacts on the environment and climate. Given the sheer power and destructive potential of a Yellowstone supereruption, it's no wonder that officials are taking the current signs of unrest so seriously. The consequences of such an event would be catastrophic, both locally and globally. In recent weeks, scientists monitoring the Yellowstone supervolcano have observed a troubling increase in seismic activity and other indicators of volcanic unrest, prompting the decision to issue a mandatory evacuation order for the surrounding region. The first major warning sign was a marked uptick in earthquake activity within the Yellowstone caldera. Seismic monitoring stations have detected a significant rise in the frequency and magnitude of earthquakes, with some reaching as high as magnitude 4.0. This heightened seismic activity is a clear sign that magma is on the move beneath the surface, exerting pressure on the overlying rock. Accompanying the seismic activity, scientists have also noted rapid ground deformation, or uplift, in certain areas of the Yellowstone caldera. In just the past few weeks, some locations have experienced up to six inches of vertical uplift, a rate that is highly unusual and indicative of rising magma accumulating beneath the surface. But perhaps the most alarming changes have been observed in Yellowstone's famous geothermal features, the geysers hot springs and fumaroles that draw millions of visitors to the park each year. Many of these features have become increasingly erratic and volatile, with some geysers erupting more frequently and with greater intensity than ever before. For example, Steamboat Geyser, known for its sporadic and powerful eruptions, has been particularly active, reaching heights of up to 300 feet. Other hot springs have shown significant temperature increases and changes in water chemistry, suggesting that the underground heat source is becoming more agitated. These geothermal changes, combined with the heightened seismic activity and ground deformation, have set off alarm bells among scientists at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, YVO. They have concluded that the risk of a major eruption has increased substantially, prompting the decision to issue the evacuation order. Evacuating an area as vast and populous as Yellowstone National Park 
is an enormous logistical challenge, but officials have been working tirelessly to coordinate a comprehensive and orderly evacuation plan. The park spans nearly 3,500 square miles, encompassing parts of Wyoming, Montana and Idaho. Evacuating this entire region requires the coordination of multiple state and local agencies, as well as the deployment of significant resources and personnel. The first step was to issue a clear and urgent evacuation order to both visitors and residents within the Yellowstone region. Park rangers, state troopers and members of the National Guard have been deployed to assist with the evacuation process, establishing roadblocks and directing traffic along designated evacuation routes. Helicopters have also been utilised to survey remote areas of the park and help evacuate any individuals who may be stranded or unable to reach the main evacuation routes. Additionally, efforts have been made to relocate wildlife at risk from the potential eruption in an attempt to minimise the impact on the park's delicate ecosystem. Shelters and temporary housing have been set up in nearby towns and cities to accommodate the influx of evacuees, with supplies of food, water and medical resources being rapidly mobilised. It's important to note that this evacuation order is a precautionary measure reflecting the gravity of the potential threat posed by the Yellowstone supervolcano. While the situation is undoubtedly serious, officials have emphasised that the decision to evacuate was not taken lightly and is based on the best available scientific data and expert analysis. To fully understand the urgency of the current situation, it's crucial to delve into the science behind the Yellowstone supervolcano and the potential triggers for a catastrophic eruption. At the heart of the Yellowstone supervolcano is a massive magma chamber located between 5 to 17 kilometers, 3 to 10 miles, beneath the surface. This chamber is an enormous reservoir of molten rock spanning approximately 60 kilometers, 37 miles long, 30 kilometers, 19 miles wide, and up to 10 kilometers, 6 miles deep. The magma within this chamber is a complex mixture of molten rock, crystals, and dissolved gases, such as water vapour, carbon dioxide and sulphur dioxide. As more magma accumulates and the pressure within the chamber builds, the potential for a catastrophic eruption increases. There are several key factors that could trigger a Yellowstone super eruption. One of the primary triggers is seismic activity. The constant movement of tectonic plates and the shifting of magma beneath the surface can create fractures in the Earth's crust providing pathways for the magma to ascend towards the surface. Scientists have developed several scenarios to understand the potential outcomes of a Yellowstone eruption, ranging from relatively minor events to a full-scale supervolcano eruption. The least severe scenario involves hydrothermal explosions, which are localised events where superheated water rapidly turns to steam, causing violent eruptions of steam, water, mud and rock. A more serious scenario involves a moderate volcanic eruption, which could still devastate areas within tens of miles of the caldera, destroying infrastructure, disrupting ecosystems, and posing significant risks to human life. This type of eruption could eject over 1,000 cubic kilometers of material, covering vast areas with thick layers of ash. The worst case scenario, of course, is a full scale Yellowstone supervolcano eruption. Such an event would eject an unimaginable amount of volcanic material high into the atmosphere, creating an ash cloud that could spread across the continent and potentially around the globe. The immediate impact would be catastrophic, with pyroclastic flows incinerating everything within a 100-mile radius and lava flows engulfing entire communities. The long-term consequences of a Yellowstone supereruption would be equally devastating, with the potential to trigger a volcanic winter by releasing massive amounts of sulphur dioxide into the atmosphere. This could lead to a significant drop in global temperatures, disrupting agricultural systems and food supplies worldwide. The economic impact of a Yellowstone super eruption would be staggering, with billions of dollars in damage and the loss of countless livelihoods. Critical infrastructure, including roads, bridges, power lines and airports, would be severely compromised, hampering rescue and recovery efforts. The global reach of the ash cloud and the climatic effects would have far-reaching implications, 
Thank you for watching our video on the urgent evacuation order at Yellowstone National Park. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more, more updates.